Wednesday, it was International Women's Day, or as I call it, International Women's Day. <laughs> hashtag feminism, hashtag, hashtag feminism. <laughs> And every year, the best way of gauging not just how far women have come, but perhaps how far they still have to go, is by watching powerful men around the world trip over their dicks talking about the day. <laughs> and let's start with Vladimir Putin. Женщина. Women give us life and perpetuate it in our children. We will do our utmost to surround our dear women with care and attention so that they can smile more often. Perfect. <laughs> If there are two things that women love, it's being told to smile more and being surrounded. <laughs> Come on, baby, you're such pretty gender when you smile. Give Vladimir a little twirl. <laughs> but incredibly, Putin is actually a model of sensitivity next to the speech given by Brazilian President Michel Temer. Today, women participate strongly in the economy too. Nobody is more capable of pointing out changes in supermarket prices better than women. Okay, okay. He just reduced the economic contribution of half of Brazil's population to women be shopping, y'all. <laughs> this year, though, I would argue there was no more spectacular celebration of International Women's Day than in San Antonio, Texas, where one local morning show host really gave it his all. Today it's International Women's Day, so hey, ladies, don't worry. It's your day. You can do whatever you want. And speaking of doing it, whatever you want, it's Workout Wednesday. It's time to get that bikini body just in time for summer. <laughs> That's right, ladies, you can do whatever you want. Crunches, curls, maybe some light cardio. The point is, keep it tight. It's your day, but keep it tight. And believe me, he was just getting started. All right, so it's just me today. Kimberly's in traffic, but it's okay. It's International Women's Day, so she can do that today. This year, International Women's Day will come together with a day without women being on strike. So that's a good thing because, you know, when it comes down to it, that's where we all come from. What? That is a pretty limited understanding of human reproduction. I bet if you asked him to label a chart of the female anatomy, he'd probably just write noise across the top of it and call it a day. He went on and on and on. He, he attempted to ad-lib his way through a whole story on International Women's Day in a manner so incompetent, it really made you feel that the stuck-in-traffic Kimberly probably does most of the heavy lifting on that show. And you know what? In that sense, I'm not sure that anyone this week managed to show better what a day without women is all about. Because, Kimberly, I don't know who you are or what you do, but I sure as shit know what happens when you're not there. <laughs> and first thing tomorrow, you need to go into the office and ask for a fucking raise. <laughs> so, for now, for now, let's move on.